What's up friends and Lost Ark gamers alike? Today I'm bringing you another Lost Ark video as you might have seen or guessed. Today's topic though, we're going to be doing a little special video that I've been working on for a while. That is going to be trade skill related. This trade skill video is going to be a little bit different than usual. What I did is I'm going to be doing a little bit of every single trade skill in this video. Namely, I spent an entire life energy bar, so that's 11,000 energy for me. I spent 11k energy on each individual trade skill, and I tracked how much of each resource I got from it, and put it into a sheet, and tracked the totals. I also calculated the gold totals for each profession, or trade skill, sorry, excuse me, this is not World of Warcraft. I tracked the gold totals for NA West. The prices are from like a week and a half ago, maybe a bit longer, depending on when this gets uploaded. Point is, you can take the raw numbers that I got and input your own prices on your own servers and figure out which skill you want to do or should focus on. I do want to preface this with saying, one, I cannot control my trade skill levels all of my trade skills are roughly the same level, um, ranging between 35 and 40, aside from hunting, which is level 60, by far my highest trade skill. I also want to note that I used green tools exclusively. Those are the tools you can purchase from the vendor, and I purchased them over and over and over until I got a super armor tool. So I used a green super armor tool for everything. That is as even as I could make it. I am aware that there are different methods you can use for each trade skill. For example, excavating. You do the tool swap. I can't track that really. So this is just a controlled, no tool swap dealio. With that being said, if you could like the video, help support the channel. Thank you. Share this video around if you find it helpful. Whatever you gotta do, I appreciate you. Now let's get into the data. So the first trade skill we are going to be taking a look at here is going to be foraging. So for foraging, again, I'm gonna do this for every single trade skill, just so in case you skip around, you'll get the same spiel. This is green tool, nothing special, no leaps essence, no nothing, just 11k life energy and a green tool with super armor. In 11,000 life energy, I managed to get 755 wildflowers, 516 shy wildflowers, 118 bright wildflowers, 304 crude mushrooms, 178 fresh mushrooms, and 64 exquisite mushrooms. Now, the amount of gold I got from this, we will take a look at in this next picture. We're going to be looking like 543 gold from the wildflowers. 525 gold from the mushrooms, the crude mushrooms, 154 gold from the shy wildflowers, 53 gold from the fresh mushrooms, 129 gold from the bright wildflowers, and 96 gold from the exquisite mushrooms, totaling 1,503 gold from 11k life energy worth of foraging, nothing special, foraged at Tika Tika Colony with a green tool with super armor. Next skill on the list is going to be mining. You'll see from the little graphic I made, I had Moonlight Monitor on, and I used bombs on purple nodes whenever I could. Otherwise, I just used bomb on whatever node I could. Basically used bomb on cooldown. Purple nodes priority. From mining, I received 755 iron ore, 516 heavy iron ore, 118 strong iron ore. Again, all with a green tool in 11k life energy. Green tool with super armor. And for the gold from mining, it's going to look something like this. Iron ore, 652 gold. Heavy iron ore, 920 gold. Strong iron ore, 1302 gold. For a total of 2875 gold from mining. In 11k life energy, mined at Star Sand Beach with just a regular old green super armor pickaxe. No leap essence, no nothing funny. Our next skill we're taking a look at here is going to be logging, which honestly surprised me. Again, green tool, super armor, nothing special. I kicked all purple trees. I used kick on cooldown. 
I did save kick for a purple tree if I did not immediately see one, but they were fairly common, so your mileage may vary. I received 845 timber, 440 tender timber, and 145 sturdy timber from 11k life energy. And now you'll see from the logging gold image why I was so surprised with logging. And yes, a little spoiler, this is the highest total gold amount out of all the trade skills when I calculated this. Which, again, surprising to me at least, because logging has always kind of been a question mark trade skill. Anyways, I got 845 gold from the timber, 836 gold from the tender timber, and 1334 gold from the sturdy timber, totaling 3015 gold from the logging total. That's 11k life energy, kicking all purple trees on cooldown. And green tool, super armor, you know the rest. I did the logging at... Fuck, I forgot the name of the place. God damn it, I'm gonna have to re-record this. I'm not gonna re-record this. I'm leaving this in. Fuck it. Uh, Secret Forest. That's the name of it. Okay, enjoy. Next up we have everyone's pride and joy, Excavation. Again, this is going to look worse than Excavation actually is because of two factors. One, no tool swap. Two, I didn't pass all the minigames because, again, I don't have a tool, so I simulated what an average pass rate might be for average gamers. Uh, not saying that like, I'm good or whatever. You get the idea. From Excavation, I got... 1,002 Ancient Relics, 432 Rare Relics, and 146 Oreja Relics. So the excavation totals are going to look something like this. Ancient Relic, 1,673 gold. Rare Relic, 345 gold. Oreja Relics, 511 gold. For a total of 2,529 gold from excavation total. Again, keep in mind, this is with a green shovel, no tool swap. The green shovel has super armor only. I passed four minigames and I failed three minigames. I used the dog on minigames when available. And I did all this excavation at Belly and Runes South of Vern. Now we're getting into one of the worst trade skills in my opinion, and it's not from a financial standpoint, it's from a time investment standpoint. I didn't track times on anything, but everything was relatively even, except for fishing, which was almost a full hour to use the entire life energy bar, which was pain. So, for fishing, I used the net as soon as I hit five stacks, and I did pass all of the net minigames. I did not tool swap for the minigames. Results following something like this. I got 1,035 fish, 555 natural pearls, 992... 992 492 red flesh fish 294 oreja solar carp i'm not re-recording that I'm leaving that in you're welcome so the gold results from fishing it's going to end up looking like 1552 gold from fish 277 gold from natural pearls 147 gold from red flesh fish 558 gold from Oreja Solar Carps, and that's going to total up to 2,536 gold total from fishing, 11k life energy, green fishing pole, super armor only, no minigame tool swap, all minigames passed, I used minigame net on 5 stacks. All fishing done at Nia Village, because that's the best spot. Don't at me. Now we're on to my last but not least favorite trade skill, hunting. Again, keep in mind, while this is still green tool with super armor only, I do have level 60 in hunting and I cannot control that, so is what it is. All of this is with no hunting maps used. The hunting maps you receive from this is why hunting is so good. Keep that in mind. Again, it's like the excavation tool swap minigame thing, in a similar vein at least. Results are... 852 thick raw meat, 408 treated meat, 406 tough leather, and 72 of that lovely Oreja thick meat. The hunting gold totals are going to look something like this. You're looking at 1,252 gold from the thick raw meat, 285 gold from the treated meat, 284 gold from the tough leather, 331 gold from the lovely Oreja thick meat, totaling up to 2,153 gold from hunting total, 
again, 11k life energy, green tool, super armor, no hunting maps, no leaps essence, you know the rest. Hunted at Star Sand Beach. Rah, hopefully I didn't jump scare you too bad with the pasty white screen, but I always like doing this at the end of all my stat videos, just showing you the raw data from the spreadsheet. I have it kind of cutely color-coded, whatever. Just an info dump from the raw info. So you can see, again, everything listed out, the amounts of resources I got, and then I calculated it for my server prices like two weeks ago, probably now when this video is getting uploaded, but these are the totals I got. It's not hard, just input your own gold for the numbers I got here, and you can figure out what is the best, though it's a bit more in-depth than that with things like excavation, using a tool swap and passing all the mini games. Same with fishing for the mini game there. And then obviously factoring in the hunting maps using Leap's Essence for that can juice you out super hard. Basically, this just gives you a raw overview of if you're just gathering resources using your energy, nothing special. This is sort of the results you can expect. Whatever you get out of this is whatever you get out of this. Your mileage may vary. I'm just the guy who put all the data out there for you and something to think about. Anyways, hopefully this guy, this guide, I was going to say this guide. It's not a guide. Hopefully this video helped you at least a little bit. Uh, got you thinking about trade skills, maybe surprised you. Again, logging still really surprised me. I've always thought this trade skill was shit, but apparently foraging is the shit one. Is what it is. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video if you like the video. Dislike it if you dislike it. Leave a comment down below talking about my oreja thick meat. And of course, subscribe if you made it this far and you like seeing daily Lost Ark content. And consider becoming a YouTube member. It's a bit like Patreon sub or Twitch sub. Help support the channel. Help support me, smiley face. Bye.